What's up, everybody? My name is Walter Hinchman. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Swolverine. Today, we're going to be talking about the differences between whey protein isolate versus whey concentrate. So most people think that whey protein and whey protein isolate are the same thing. However, that is not the case. When you're deciding which protein to add to your supplement regimen, it's very important to know what the differences between whey protein are so that you can make the best decision and choice in order to fit your health and fitness goals. So with so many different options out there, such as whey concentrate, whey isolate, whey hydrolysate, muscular casein, it can be very confusing to know which type of protein is going to give you the best results. So we're going to talk about the fundamental differences between whey concentrate and whey protein isolate so you can decide ultimately which one is going to be right for you. So what is whey protein concentrate? Let's start there. Whey protein concentrate is the liquid byproduct of the manufacturing process of cheese. Crazy, right? When the casein and water are removed from this byproduct, you are left with what's better known as whey protein concentrate. Most whey concentrates are composed of 70 to 80% pure protein and can contain over 50% lactose with a higher content of fat and carbohydrates as compared to whey protein isolate. So what is whey protein isolate? Whey protein isolate is a highly purified form of whey protein. Whey protein isolate goes through a rig rigorous filtration process known as a cross-flow microfiltration as compared to whey protein concentrate. Through this filtration process, protein content is separated from any additional fat, carbohydrates, cholesterol, and lactose, resulting in a very highly purified form of protein. So what are the differences of whey protein isolate versus whey concentrate? Whey protein concentrate and whey protein isolate are both derived from the same milk concentration. Okay. However, the main difference is that whey protein concentrate versus whey isolate is that whey isolate has been put through that microfiltration process to help remove the lactose and to derive a, a more highly purified form of protein. From deriving this uh, form of protein, both forms are known as complete proteins all right, and contain all nine essential amino acids to help rebuild and build lean muscle mass while optimizing that post-workout recovery process. However, since these amino acids are essential, they must be obtained through your diet or through supplementation. Uh, of those non-essential amino acids, whey concentrate and whey isolate also contain branched chain amino acids, right? Often referred to as the building blocks of protein. Studies have shown that uh, branched chain amino acids, particularly leucine, have significant anabolic effects and enhance muscle growth. The benefit of supplementing with whey and whey isolate is the fast digestion rate, okay? The fast digestion rate is going to deliver a high level of amino acids rapidly to the muscle tissue and re will replenish your body uh, with the fuel that it needs to gain that lean muscle mass and strength um, through what's known as the muscle building process or muscle protein synthesis. So what are the key differences between whey isolate and whey concentrate? So whey isolate is going to contain a higher protein content. All right, It's going to range between or right around 90% pure protein as compared to 70 to 80%. Whey protein Isolate will contain less than 1% lactose, especially for those people who have dairy sensitivities. Okay, this is a great option as compared to whey protein concentrate, which is going to contain over 50% lactose per serving and over 2% fat per serving. Whey protein concentrate can cause bloating, digestive issues due to that lactose and carbohydrate content, uh, when most whey protein isolates will not cause that. Okay. Whey protein isolate has a lower calorie count than whey protein concentrate because it doesn't have any fat or it doesn't have any uh, carbohydrates. Um, and whey protein isolate is going to absorb faster, which makes it an ideal option and supplement post-workout to help with that crucial amino acid delivery. Um, so how much protein do you need? Let's talk about that. So although whey protein is classified as a supplement, a high quality protein powder is essential, uh, essentially the same right, as a whole food. Protein powder is just delivered in a far more concentrated and fast-absorbing form. The recommended minimum um, amount of daily protein intake is around 0.37 grams per pound of body weight or 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. So although those protein requirements depend on several other variables, all right, they're going to depend on your, your fitness goals, your age, your height, your weight, your activity levels, and weight goals. So that calculation can, um, can be used across the board as a general reference. However, if you're an athlete, we're always going to recommend taking right around one gram per pound of body weight. Okay, so if you weigh 150 pounds, 150 grams of protein is what we're generally going to recommend. Okay, so what are the similarities uh, between whey protein concentrate and whey isolate? Okay, um, both of them are going to build muscle mass. So muscle, muscle tissue is comprised of protein. So both whey concentrate and whey isolate are incredibly well researched and backed um, by hundreds of different studies. All right, whey and whey isolate both play an essential role in fat loss, muscle growth, exercise recovery, and muscle building. In fact, a study conducted at the University of North Carolina 
investigated the effects of whey versus other forms of whey protein. The 56 study participants uh, increased total body mass and strength supplementing with 60, gram 60 grams of whey protein per day in conjunction with an eight-week resistance training program. So both are going to help you build that lean muscle mass, right? The other thing is that both are going to help you in terms of losing weight or in support of weight management. Protein is a valuable macronutrient for weight loss, all right? Unlike carbohydrates, protein has no effect on blood glucose or insulin levels. So increased blood glucose from consuming refined sugars and simple carbohydrates can result in increased fat body, or body fat accumulation. That being said, whey isolate does contain fewer calories, carbohydrates, and fat per serving than whey concentrate or normal whey protein. A common misconception when it comes to weight loss is that you should cut your calories and eat less, forcing yourself into caloric deficits in order to burn body fat. The latter of that statement is in fact true, right? You do need to be in that caloric deficit so uh, in order to lose weight. However, more often than not, under-eating is going to cause your body to store more body fat and slow down metabolism, resulting in suboptimal results and leading you to further frustration and not getting the results that you want. One of the most crucial elements to losing weight is making sure that you're eating enough. So that includes your protein. So it may sound counterintuitive now, however, that you need to eat more to lose weight, but I assure you it is not. Um, so let's talk about whey protein isolates um, and concentrate helping with exercise recovery, okay? Protein provides those vital amino acids that you need to ensure quick and efficient muscle recovery. If you can actively, actively recover faster, then you're gonna increase your training volume, which translates into better athletic performance and better results. Supplementing with whey protein isolate or whey concentrate before, during, or after your training stimulates muscle protein synthesis and minimizes protein breakdown, which are two um, biological processes that are essential for exercise-induced muscle recovery. So compared to regular whey concentrate supplements, whey protein isolate is a little bit more effective at increasing blood amino acids uh, profiles and protein synthesis due to its different absorption kinetics and amino acid profile. So the high uh, availability of amino acids in whey protein isolate, especially those branched chain amino acids, is important for protein synthesis in the hours immediately after ingestion. So whey protein isolate is going to contain those higher amounts of L-glutamine, which is an essential amino acid or conditionally essential amino acid, uh, which is going to help you reduce muscle mass breakdown and exercise induced muscle mass soreness. So takeaway here, guys, if you are trying to decide which to get, if it's a normal whey protein or whey concentrate compared to a whey protein isolate, always go and what we recommend is going with that isolate. Whey protein isolate provides more protein content per serving, filtering out any extra lactose for anyone who has dairy sensitivities. Um, it has less fat, carbohydrates, cholesterol, and calories. So research shows that whey protein isolate will provide better outcomes when it comes to muscle mass, strength, and recovery, as well as total body optimization and fat loss. So guys, please subscribe to this YouTube channel here. If you want any more information in regards to health, wellness, nutrition, fitness, supplements, whatever it may be, visit the blog at swolverine.com. If you're looking for a delicious whey protein isolate, we uh, offer whey protein isolate with 26 grams per serving, less than 1% lactose, uh, from grass-fed um, cows, amazing. So visit the website there. And until next time, guys.